main man Joey and today we are traveling south on 95 doing 76 miles per hour staying with traffic not being dangerous we just visited the electromagnetic pinball museum and restoration place it's in Pawtucket Rhode Island it's 59 miles from the New London Groton area the video of the entire drive will be coming up I'll of course make it just like two minutes nice and fast so it's Sunday all oh, September 5th yeah September 5th and we walked in and we asked if we could do a little review of the place and uh, folks said yes yep. So you'll see a, a video of the entrance. It costs ten dollars a person. Right for the whole day. Yeah. From what? And I believe they're open on Sundays from from ten to I think nine maybe. Yeah. So we walked in. Uh, it wasn't busy. I think it was Sunday. They just opened. So and we two were or three people. In. There were two people in there. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah, there's some folks playing, and the I believe he was, I know he was the owner, I didn't, I didn't catch his name, but uh, you know, we paid him, and then he was kind enough to bring us into this first room, which is an area where they do a lot of restoration on pinball machines, and he gave us a tour of the restoration area, the pinball machines, the gears, the manufacturers, and then as you, you'll see, he takes us to the whole place, and you know, it was, we spent, how long? I don't know, maybe 20 minutes just doing the tour. He gave us a good 20 minute yep. tour and they have a lot of stuff there. Uh, mainly pinball machines, they've got some old arcade games in there. Uh, ski ball, driving games, some like shooting games. Yeah, like very, a lot of like, I would say retro, like 1980s retro, but they also have pinball machines that are like 76 years old. Um, and it's, you know, it plays as long as you, as, long, as much and for as long as you want. They also have like an Xbox, PlayStation. They had like the original, they had like Wii's. the original Xbox, the PS2, the Nintendo Game Box, all that stuff like that. Yeah, and, all the, and they had just tons and tons of games. Yeah. Like hundreds of games you can play. Uh, they also sell like uh, trinkets. I, I mean, I don't want to call them knickknacks, but like, like Nerf footballs and Nerf basketballs and Pokemon things. Stuff like that. Yeah. So we spent uh, two hours, 15 minutes there. Um, really worth it for 10 bucks a person. You know, we probably played, I don't know, 15, 16. 25 games maybe yeah that's easily worth it i mean i don't know how they charge so little yeah that that's a lit that's not a lot for like 12 hours if you go straight through all the time right and uh you know it's got to be a tremendous amount of electricity they're using but they were really nice it was uh you know it's it's cool to see all those arcade games, those pinball machines, from a long ago to, I don't know what the most recent one was. I assume it would be the newer Simpsons one, because that one had, like, similar art to what they have now. That was, I think that was manufactured in like 2005. Like 2005, yeah. Um, but we had a nice time, and then we left there, we went to Federal Hill, and we got a couple grinders, and... I would say if you're into pinball machines, you should definitely go to this place because they have a lot of them. Yes. And he's getting more of them in too. He was saying something about uh, some machines that were just going to be coming in. Yeah. So I would say it was yeah. definitely worth 20 bucks for two people. Would you yeah. agree? Yeah, definitely. And it wasn't crowded and there were no. people in there and it was nice. Good way to kill a couple hours. Yeah. All right. Watch the video. Enjoy.
Yeah. This is one of them. Uh, 1973. This is an Attaball. When pinball became legal in America again, um, certain states, Connecticut, New York, and Pennsylvania, said that giving a free game away was too much like gambling. So for those states, these teams were made where you couldn't get a free game, but when you turn the game on, it starts with five balls, and you can lose a ball, or if you can complete the puzzle, yeah. Get a ball back. Add to six, seven, eight, nine, or ten balls. So you can't get a free game, but you can get as many free balls as you as you can. Interesting. So it's a very interesting game. It's not quite ready for the big room yet, so it's in here. Got it. Now, so this this room is like the uh, not ready for primary. triage. Yeah. Got it. And this is really meatball surgery. When you yeah. say restoration, we're talking about get them up and running. Right. We're not getting them pretty. We're not not yet. We yep. don't have the resources for that yet. 1952. If, and working. We don't plug it in unless somebody really wants to play yeah. it because, well, it's 1952. Yeah. 1954, no wow. restoration. 1968, broke yesterday. It's our third most popular game. It's just a simple matter of correcting a switch, which is right down there. Oh, wow. The thing we need to do is unbend or bend one of these, depending on what the schematic says. Yeah. And I just found the schematic this morning, so that could be fixed real soon. Dolly Parton was found in a tool shed no bigger than the Ferrari simulator. If you know how to drive a standard, I suggest uh, the simulation Ferrari. If you drive an automatic, yeah. try it on just the automatic or on easy. Medium does not work. Medium, the shift paddles do yeah. not function. So you're going to be stuck in first gear. Really frustrating. Okay. Buck Hunter works, but the green gun only. Got it. We're working on that too. We put the camera in upside down. We just need to tell the guy so embarrassed. We put the camera in upside down. We'll, we'll work on that later. Um, Atari's unfortunately put the brains of their machines, instead of putting them in the backboard, yeah. put them on the floor of the cabinet. So anything like dust or metal debris or if a piece came and hit the board, that was it for the machine. We think that's what happened for this because there was no ball wear on this machine. It looks huh. like it was played maybe a, a few thousand times and then just stopped. So um, we're working on getting that repaired. That's going to be about two years. We have to wait for one guy in all of North America. We're waiting. Wow. Another Atari. We put a doghouse, a plastic doghouse, covering over this thing's brain because, once again, we don't want any dust or debris yeah. falling on it. Uh, 1979. Wow. Bought this off a friend of mine for um, 400 bucks, and we. This this is a kind of long and convoluted story. This playing field was in this machine, okay? Yeah. And we found this machine on the side of the road in Connecticut. So for 200 bucks, we had it brought home. So we took the play field out and we put a new one in. We had everything working. We brought it to Pentastic, which is our convention that happens once a year where there are 300 pinball machines all packed together. And uh, we, were, we were pulling out and this older gentleman is looking at the, uh, the, the head and he's looking at all the tiny little defects and he starts crying and I, I say, well, it was yours, wasn't it? This was your machine. He goes, yes, my ex-wife threw it out during our divorce. Oh, no. He shows me a phone of a woman standing next to the field, next to the, the machine. Yeah. The machine was on like a dirt road in the middle of Connecticut. And she sent him a text saying, you'll never see it again. Okay. So That's I took his phone pretty mean. and I had him stand next to it. And I, okay. Click. He found it. Send. And uh, yeah, she wasn't happy. You know, Very cool. Them. So we brought it back home, and we had it signed by Ohura, Captain Kirk, and Sulu. We installed a new back glass into both of them, uh, one for the TV and one for the movie. When we got this one here, we realized it was missing the trademark, it was missing the credits, and the signature that's supposed to be in white was in red. So we thought we got ripped off. Yeah. So we looked it up on Pinside, which has a lot of information about the glass, and it turns out, no, you didn't get ripped off. There were only 30 of these ever made. It's one oh, of the wow. rarest pieces of back glass that you can ever pick up. So I'm giving it to my sister for her 64, 64th birthday. I've Very never nice. once given her a birthday present. She got me into Star Trek. I figured she was due. These are pinball machines. This is a pinball table. A four player. It rotates to the person whose turn it is. Um, it's going to take me a lot of time to get this working. That's I mean, cool. a lot of time and a lot of effort under construction at the moment. Adam's Family, second most popular pinball machine. Uh, uh, the first being Medieval Madness. 20,000 units were made and shipped all over the world. This is 
my first pinball machine that started all of this five years ago. I used to own one. Yeah. Wow, when you, you let it go. Yeah. My condolences. It was, uh, God, 22 years ago. I paid 1700 bucks for it. <laughs> you don't want to know. You I don't know. want to know what they're going for now. I know. I, I, I still look for them, actually. Well, you're always welcome to come and play this one. Well, that's why we're here. Oh, this is it, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, other things as well, but uh, we wanted to, I, I really wanted to come back and see this. We will we take some special time then on this one. We put in a plasma disc. Yep. Yeah. Alligator. Toxic waste barrel. Uh, lights, because I think this bit of the play field is a little bit dark. These were taken from a train set. The safe and the armor, yeah. you can either buy off of a pinball resource for $39 a piece or something like that, yeah. or you can go to the doll furniture warehouse and buy them for four bucks a piece. They're pencil sharpeners. No kidding. Yeah, that's all they are. They're, and they're the same product. They are the exact same thing. Um, of course, we LED'd the whole thing out. And there are a couple of other little little treats if you look around like the... Um, it's in good shape. Tram. Thank you. She gets... Oh, and the, uh, the, the lighting. In the, we really like that. We yeah, really I like lighting too. this underneath. I, this lighting is new, isn't that? Yeah. Is that, or has that, that wasn't part of the original machine, was it? No, uh, LED'd. But were there lights there before? Mm -hmm. Maybe they were just so not bright, I didn't notice it. No, we really put, we put LEDs into it. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's, it's a temperamental. I recall we used to play this. Um, we had it in our, um, our, our living room. And we would open it up, and we would turn it up as loud as it would go. When we, we knew our neighbors weren't home. Okay. <laughs> and it was, it's unbelievable how loud it goes. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, yes. And, yeah. and what's, what's even more and why, cool, right? Oh, my. Right. And what's even, what's, what I thought was really cool, and they probably all do it, how they self-tune themselves with the, with the stick, the flippers. Right. And the different languages it speaks. Uh-huh. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, like when thing flips. I can always tell when somebody has been playing the machine because yep. it will be uncalibrated. If left to its own devices, a thing flip will flip the ball. Right. But if you try to do it yourself, yep. it messes up the calibration. So it, it goes everywhere yeah. after a little while. Yeah, it's really awesome. Really. This is just one of my... It's, it's, it's the one that started all of this. Yeah, I can imagine. We, we started off with 14 pinball machines in our living room. And then Jeez. we won a bid for seven more. And we had to do something with it. So we came into this room. And as soon as we did, COVID hit. And the gym over there died. Oh, yeah. So we went there because we were like, you know, we're, with our luck, we're going to get a yoga studio. We're going to get a plant store. We're going to get somebody who wants to quiet. You know, we thought, we better jump on this map. Right. We were always planning to take that room, you know, if he ever fails. And we were thinking two or three years. Yeah. Not. So we're about three years ahead of schedule. And uh, we're loving it. All of this is gone. In chronological order. With the exception of four players, and then two players, and then single. So, they are in order. Nice. A lot of fun. Going all the way over to here. So, 1992, wow. all the way to 1972. Now, we just ignored a whole row of stuff. Right. Like, uh, Earthshaker was the pinball machine with the first shaker motor in it. Big guns uh, shoots pinballs over the playfield. It's it catches them and then brings them into play. Cyclone, Comet, Hurricane, all Williams, all made by the same guy, all designed by the same guy, all same team. Had to get the whole set. Nice. We're trying to round out this now. There are seven of these. One or two I know we're never going to get, mm -hmm. but I want a haunted house in the worst way. Yeah. It will just really stern, stern. I don't know why a ballet is in the middle of sterns. But this is going to go real soon. Probably go over there, and something a stern or something like that will come over here. Because this is this is out of place. It's a lot of fun, but it's out of place. Two Simpsons, the 1985 version and the 2005 version. Oh wow! You can really see the difference in the artwork. Mm -hmm. Definitely season one and two, and definitely later seasons. Very cool. Huh? <laughs> there was a Deadpool. And a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there, just until last night, and then they had to go home. If somebody loans us their pinball machine. Oh, really? Machine, yeah. That's cool. Somebody loans us their pinball machine, they get access to the hall. So, um, for eight months, we had to borrow those. That's machines. fantastic. So, what a guy. We yeah, that's we loved very generous. Eight hundred games. GameCube.
PlayStation, Xbox, all those games in the cases, you're more than welcome to play or buy. Wow. My business partner owned a GameStop, so she was able to pick up these little kiosks. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> a friend of ours in Connecticut owned a toy store, and unfortunately, COVID took it out. Yeah. So he offered us his entire inventory. We showed up with a truck. We did. Can't, so I, you you have to at that point. Just gave us a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. Look, Joey, it's a Rubik's Cube. You can even solve it. It's a Wii. Unfortunately, three of our machines in the sports room are not working. We're, we're going to be on that as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, golf, bowling, soccer. You have to kick the ball to pass, kick the ball to score, kick the ball to slide, oh. tackle. You actually have to kick the ball. Oh look, it's a, uh, what is that, uh, snowboard. If you're going to use it, yeah. please keep your hands at all times. Oh, open. sure. Okay, if you're going to think you're safe, then you're not. Before you see it happen. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, um, I'm going to be cutting up the Pac-Man real soon for you, as soon as I get the keys, which for some reason are not on the set. Now, this is two games, uh, Area 51 and I don't know the other one, but it's okay. a shoot -em -up. Extremely difficult pinball game. Uh, it starts with a three ball, multi ball, every time. It has two uh, buttons on each side a white button and a green button. Green button lowers the gate. Oops, if you look back here, you oh my goodness. Dragster. Just like a dragster. Red, yellow, green. The quicker you hit, the, the quicker your reflexes are to hit the green button, the quicker your bonus will be. So it gives you a bonus at the beginning of your ball, not huh. at the end. Uh, it starts with a three ball every time. When it goes green, you press the button, give you your bonus. Then you have to deal with three balls, five flippers, three play fields, and it's just absolute chaos. The green button also rotates the game that you're playing or rotates the light. So it sounds like it's impossible. It's very difficult. Yeah. Uh, I've had this game almost as long as the Adams Family. The goal is to complete three circuits of lights. My best game ever was 1.2 completions. Really? Yep. I just, it's, if I were a pinball coach, I would handcuff my players to that machine for at least two hours a day. If you can handle that machine, you can handle anything. Blitz does work. It puts out so much heat. I'm not going to turn it on unless you ask me to. Six and one. These are fantastic if you have little kids at home yep. and or you're really not sure what you want to pick up or you Longer. want to buy. It certainly beats making um, a three hundred dollar uh, mistake buying a paperweight. Nineteen seventy eight puck bowler. Two pucks for every frame. Nine frames per game. A lot of fun. To be perfectly honest, goes a lot better with beer. But since we can't yeah. do beer here, it's a lot of fun. It's unfortunate. Please ignore the slot machines. <laughs> I didn't know they were illegal in the state of Rhode Island until, uh, until bought I bought them. them. Half video game, yeah. half pinball machine. Oh, and they're for sale, by the way. Take them home. I don't want them. The slot machines are? Yes. 200 bucks. Take them away. Take them away. As is. Okay. No guarantees. It's, it's funny. Um, life, my parents would love it. <laughs> <laughs> your, your wife would not. Um, yeah, also, they weigh like 400. So yeah. Those things are incredible. I'm sure. I mean, it takes like three of us just to, and My four boy. of us to comfortably move it. Like if you have a if you have a pet or anything like that, or you're afraid that the furniture is not going to hold it up, don't even think it. It will. It will. Um, yeah. Half video game, half pinball machine. These guys saw the writing on the wall. They saw the video age coming in, in the pinball age. 
keeps declining. Right. So we're definitely 1980, 1982. $300 paperweight. It was working until like four days ago. It's such a great game. I don't know if you've ever played it, but... I, 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 I did see it a lot as a kid, and I played it. I was never very good at it, so I never... I like that. Do you remember from Black Widow? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the two so. joysticks? Yes, I that think one. so. I think so. I love that one. I was, ho I was hoping you guys had that once I saw that. Well, well, we'll do what we can. Um, Sub, Sub Hunt was the original. This is Seawolf. Yeah. I'd love to get it going, but that's a project for another day. And this is very close to working. $300 will have this working. This was originally an electromechanical machine, but it was so good, they turned it into a solid state. They just took the play field, made a solid state. Uh, so, 1978, this is an EM. 1979, this is a solid state. I would love to get an EM and put it back to back so you'll see the difference it yeah. makes. See a difference you know. Have people play it and see how it feels. Uh, Freedom is not ready to go into the big room yet. We still have a couple of problems to work out. Uh, Space Mission, have you been watching Loki at all on Netflix? Yeah. Oh, it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. It's on Disney Plus. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I've watched it time. Oh, okay. So have you seen this? Oh, is that in there? To check out the second to last episode. There are two <laughs> machines in the void. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do it get home. Okay, so when you get home, check out the second last episode. And it's not like it does this. Okay? No, Loki is like right next to it going, blah, blah, Oh, no blah, kidding. Blah, blah, blah. That's it's, cool. It's very funny. So Emily looks at me and goes, we have that machine downstairs. We do. Wow. <laughs> we do have that machine downstairs. Oh. This is a high school senior's project. He had to donate 20 hours as part of his, um, 20 hours to a nonprofit organization. This was his final uh, senior project. So he decided to take the ugliest, dirtiest pinball machine that we had and restore it. And he's done a very good job of doing so. He's, he's cleaned all this up. We did a lot of work. On the play field, like see how clean and shiny oh, that wow. is. And yeah, he replaced all good. the rubbers and did all that. He was only supposed to put 20 hours in a week, uh, 20 hours for the year. By the time the school year started, two days ago, three days ago, he has already put in 36 hours to this machine. Nice. So, um, he's going to present it to his class. We're going to bring it into the high school gym. Yeah. He's going to present it to the whole class. Um, and then he's getting the key to the machine. It's his. Oh, wow. Very cool. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to hire him. We'll be able to give him a, uh, upon his completion of high yeah. school, we'll be able to give him a part-time job at a reasonable amount of pay because the kid can read things like this. Smart kid. Only took him a couple of days. Only took him a couple of days. Okay. Yeah. How much a pinball repair guy gets paid now? <laughs> 70 bucks. Is it really? Cash. And that's from leaving his front door. That's from. That's travel time too, huh? Yeah. We use a guy from a company called Aardvark. Yeah. And we can't handle a problem, and this guy is uh, 70 bucks an hour. Worth every penny. Worth, worth, worth every penny. Yeah, I'm sure. 1958, these are not pinball machines. These are bingo machines. These are legal gambling devices. The same guy that sold me the uh, stuff machine yeah. was uh, using these as an, an, in an illegal speakeasy in North Providence up until 1980. Oh, yeah? Very interesting. One, one, one colorful character. And here we go at the beginning. Here we are where we started. Uh, we sell hats, t-shirts, mugs, mouse pads, notepads. We